Hi, welcome to the short training video on how to run and review the AP Aging Report in NetSuite. I'll show you how to run the AP Aging Report, how to change the aging options, I'll give an overview on how to analyze the report data, I'll show you how to customize the AP Aging Report and how to save a customized report. I'll show you how to view, summarize, and detailed versions of the report, and how to drill down into individual vendors or invoices from a summarized report. And finally, I'll show you how to export the AP Aging Report to Excel or CSV. To run the AP Aging Report, go to the Reports tab, scroll down until you find Vendor and Payable, and select AP Aging. This will bring you to the AP Aging Summary. The summary gives you an overview of the AP balance per vendor. For example, this vendor has 19, 20 open, and the aging for the balance towards the left. So this $1,920 has been outstanding for more than 90 days for Jill Muscat. If you want to see the detailed view of this data, you click here on View Detail. And what this will give you is the details of the invoices that make up the balance for each vendor. For example, Jill, this 1920 is made up of several invoices with different due dates. If we go back to the summary, you click on Back to Summary, and this will bring you to the screen we were in before. So if you are here and you only want to see the details for one vendor, you can click on the total for that vendor. So same with Jill. If I click on this 1920, I will see what makes up that 1920 for Jill. I see all the, the invoices, the amount for each invoice, the due date, and the date the invoice was created, or the date of the invoice. Let's go back to the summary again. From the AP Aging Summary page, I can make some changes to my report. I want to change the aging options. So if you click on aging options at the bottom of the screen over here, this gives you options to change what you want your aging to be based on. So the aging currently is based on the due date of the invoice which is checked over here. And we want to keep that, but you can also do the aging based on the transaction date. So I'm going to keep the aging based on due date, but I want to run my aging as of the end of my last close period, which was January. So I'm going to make that change here to the right. I'm going to say age as of January 31st, 2017. I'm going to use regular intervals of 30 days, and I'm going to click OK. And the report might change a little. When you go back to the report, you re click Refresh so that the new settings take place. There is no more change to my report, but at least I know that I'm running my report as of the end of January, and that the aging is going to be calculated based on the due date of the invoice, and the date's outstanding as of January 31st. Now let's do some customization. This report is showing me the vendor name, the aging for the balance, and the balance outstanding. If you wanted to add any other fields to this report, you can click on Customize at the bottom left. And you can add some fields to the report. So here on the left, you can find Add Field. And let's say I wanted to add some information about my vendors. We can add things like the email address, if that's something that you wanted to do. You can add information about whether the vendor is inactive or active. You can add the name of the vendor which we already have in the system, in the report that we're using. You can add the tax ID number. There are multiple options that you can use to customize your report. 
So let's just add one just to make sure that I show you how the columns com comes in. So let me use the vendor's address. And the address is under the address book. So let me add address as a field in my report. And you can see here now that my address shows up as the column. You can do a preview and see how this is going to show in your report. So if there was an address for each one of these vendors, the address will show up here. So you can see here, some of them have addresses. So let's say I wanted to save this customized report. You go back to uh, customization by clicking on return customization. And when you're here, you can see under this name field that you can give a name to this report. So this is my AC Aging Summary with vendor addresses, with vendor address. And I can hit Save over here. And the next time you go to Report and Save Report, you should be able to see that report here. But I'm not going to save my report at this time, so we can continue with the training. I'm going to go back to the screen that we were in before. And I'm going to show you how to export your reports to Excel or CSV. And there are other options for exporting, but those are the main two that I use. So at the bottom right, you have the option to export in Excel. There is PDF, and this is CSV, and this is Word. So to export to Excel, you just click on the Excel icon, and your report is export it to Excel, you can open your Excel export and view it, save it, and modify the data at that point. Customize the Excel file to make it look prettier, add headers, and then share it with the team. Let's talk a little bit about how you use this report. This report is mainly used to see what invoices you have outstanding, how long they have been outstanding, whether the information in the report is accurate. So for example, I have a line here for $19 million that has no vendor information. If I was doing analysis on this report to try to clean up my account payable balances, I would start with this balance and understand why I have such a large amount with no vendor information. And this could be that a journal entry was posted or multiple journal entries were posted into this account that could probably go into a different account, like I could expenses, or something was reversed out of this account when it shouldn't. You can also look at a vendor and see that this vendor has $1,920 outstanding for over 90 days. Are we going to pay this? Did we settle via a, a credit or a refund that the vendor gave us and we didn't clear it to the account payable? Should we be paying this? At this point, is it under dispute? So this is some of the analysis that you can do with your report, and then from there, escalate it to the proper management team and get it to resolution. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video, or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.